Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine and I'm here today to take part in the 12-month Christmas collaboration hosted by Jessica Marvel and Leslie Bromfield. I will leave a link to everybody's um, channel who is collaborating down below. It is um, quite sunny <laughs> as I'm doing this. Quite cold though, quite cold. Uh, so apologies for uh, not the best lighting. But this month um, is boxes and I thought well um, we don't often have time do we at Christmas so I've made a couple of boxes to house Ferrero Rocher this is just a really simple slider box and I've just used some red card and some Tim Holtz paper for the slider a little bit of ribbon and it ho houses two Ferrero Rocher dead simple dead quick to make I'll show you how to make that in a minute and then I've made more of a keepsake box again this house is two Ferrero Rocher but how lovely would it be to um, put some jewellery in this this is one of my reinforced boxes I've got um, tutorials on how to make reinforced boxes on my channel so um, I think the what you need for this is a piece of card that is nine by seven and a half and you score at one and a half and three on all sides um, and then slightly smaller piece of card to make the base and um, it is a very snug, very sturdy fit. And inside I've got some of the coconut uh, Ferrero Rocher. I absolutely love those. Um, and what I've done, I really like the white on white kind of effect. So what I've done, I've um, embossed some white card. I don't think I've got a scrap of that handy. Um, kind of like mimicking snowfall backed it on a tiny bit of the uh, silver sparkle card that I am really really out of now and then I've used um just bring it back in this dice set I showed in a haul recently that I got for £8.39 a real bargain the Tim Holtz thin lips and I've used my lovely sidekick to cut out this foliage you've got this with the little berries on and then I've done two of the holly and then I've used a Tim Holtz clipping snow so I think that that would be a really nice gift for something very sorry a gift box for a very special gift to go in but I think that these are so quick and easy to do um, really nice for little work colleague uh, gifts you know just as a token of of your appreciation if you have uh, you know if you manage a team of people so what you will need um i'm using for this i bought this in the range um paper addicts arctic christmas 12 by 12 paper pad i love the soft colors of this um and there is a blog thecraftblog.com paper addicts follow us on instagram facebook pinterest and twitter so um yeah i can't remember how much this was but i really really do like this paper very much so i have got a piece of card that it, well it's paper this is going to make quite a lightweight box um i've got a piece of card that is four and a half by six and I'm simply going to score at one and a half on all four sides. And I'm not going to score too aggressively because it is uh, just paper. I'll tell you what would work well for this is the paper that comes from um, the works that is uh, three pounds four pounds fifty a pack um because it is a, a heavier weight than this i'm just trying to see if it says what gsm this is um this is 200 gsm whereas i think the card from um
the works is 250 sorry <laughs> I had a little bit of a brain fart there now uh, because i'm using a directional paper it is going to be upside down in places or shall we mm, it's difficult actually uh, i think we'll have the snowflakes yeah we'll have the snowflakes you'll see why in a minute so yeah just gently creasing that the other way and you're simply going to cut up your score line here and notch cut up here and notch cut up here A notch and cut up here and notch it'll be interesting to see what everybody has done I'm sure people will be doing much more flamboyant projects than me but I am uber busy and we know that Christmas is a very busy time don't we so I'm just going to glue these bits here like so and stick them down you don't need to see me glue do you you know how to glue so i'll just glue the last one with you so you can see how i like to line up my corners obviously i've used completely the wrong paper for this because it is very directional um but it gives you an idea of how using double-sided paper just takes the effort out of it and it looks really cute inside doesn't it which is going to be our front i wonder um i think we will have this as the front and i'm just going to punch a hole roughly in the middle with my little hole punch there we go it's not too bad now we need to make the wrap so for the wrap i've got this paper and i've cut it to six and three quarters by about three which is this dimension here and um where's my front there's my front so i'm going to line the bottom up with the bottom of the box here and then i'm going to fold or wrap this around so that I get a really good fit and then I'm going to come in with my bone folder and I'm going to burnish that so we know that that is at the bottom here that's upside down Ashley <laughs> Dear me. Oh dear me. What was that TV program that they had um, where they did that about air hostesses and well flight flight attendants is that what they call them now is that the politically correct thing and uh, yeah I am going to trim a little bit off this I think oh no it might be all right might be all right don't you love to see crafters struggle so i'm going to take my bone folder and burnish this score line now this just makes sure that you get really nice creases and that you've got a really snug fit so we're going like that like that we're doing this one next there i mean obviously you could use your scoreboard and just do one and a half inches um but you know when you've 
when you've done scoring it does stretch the fibers of the paper or card so you might not end up with the measurement that you think you're going to end up with yeah i am just going to trim the merest slither off this end here just the merest slither so i haven't got an overhang there we go let's just check always check okay that's like that that's like that that's like that and yes that's perfect to monday so i've got a little seam there and then on the underside of this edge here i'm going to put some red liner tape like so and just cut that you could obviously use glue if you wanted to and i'm not going to stick that down just yet we need to put some kind of closure on our um well a little pull on our ribbon thing here let's have a little furkle in my drawer and see what we've got we do like a good furkle i think this cream ribbon will do the job because um, i've got this off white color so um that is way more than i need we're just going to cut it like that gonna cut it like that and i've got a little scrap here which i'm going to use to hide my workings so i'm just going to tie a knot like so and you know there's some people like to hide their knot let's do that this time actually so that we've only got a little pull on the outside on the other one i'll show you again in a minute you can see the knot and this is going to be very difficult to fit through i guess if you have dexterity problems you could do this before you assemble your box come on little ribbon on there we go that's got it and there is my little ribbon pull like so i'm going to just trim a little bit off that like so and then i'm going to get some more red liner tape and anchor this behind that should do it we go so that's nice and flat against there and you've got a lovely little thing i mean again these would make really nice little place settings for christmas as well and um just as a contrast so it doesn't look like i've totally mismatched i'm going to have this side facing or shall i yeah we'll have it like that and it'll just add a little bit of reinforcement to the front of your box when you're pulling it as well having trouble getting the liner off because it's working against that knot and i haven't had a chance to burnish the tape down if you burnish your tape down you can't see <laughs> it helps you release it there we go I've got a little pot for my plastic rubbish and let's put a little bit of glue on the back of this just to make doubly sure but isn't this a gorgeous color palette and i love the scandi designs as well and i'm glad that i didn't get rid of this little scrap of paper that i cut off because little scraps are useful and i should also just point out that these die cuts on the top of this box were made out of little scraps as well so there we go i happen to have 
two Ferrero Rocher handy. In you go, my lovelies. And now we can fit this. So I want my short seam at the bottom. I'm going to turn it upside down. Remove the red liner backing like so. And we're just going to take time to line up the top and the bottom. And there you've got an almost invisible seam. And there is our cute little box with a lovely slidey action. And look how neat those corners look. And you haven't got too much gaping. So that is my project for this month, for the 12 month, 12 month Christmas collaboration. And I don't know what it is next month. I need to go and check the, uh, check the email. But please do go and check out all the lovely ladies. Um, I think they're all ladies anyway, that are involved in this collaboration. Oh no, I've got something else I was going to add to this. Um, yes, I've die cut... Um, a joy out of this set that I got from Hazel's Julie Hickey £4.20 instead of 12 quid. that's quite a good uh, bargain isn't it you've got your three words I think that says Christmas Merry and Joy so you can have Christmas Joy or Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas I've cut out Joy I don't know whether to stick that on there like that I've done it twice so I've kind of coloured that with tea dye to match the off-white you could have it at an angle like that I don't know now I'm gonna leave them off I'm gonna leave them off they'll come in for something else yes uh, yeah so as I was saying god it's a right dog's dinner this video isn't it um if you're still here actually comment dog's dinner and I'll send you this complete with Ferrero Rocher uh, but if you have a nut allergy, you probably shouldn't eat them. Pass them on to somebody else. Yeah, so comment dog's dinner if you're still here. Um, do go and check out all the other lovely co collaborators. And um, I will be back very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye now.